Good evening, everyone. It's Tom Sidney Bushnell, aka Numbers, here from Site Club from the Tom Numbers Show. News of Tom Numbers on top of your game. And I've got Carol, Carol Maureen um, Friesman. I've got Carol back in the virtual house. She's very popular, so I'm about to do it back again. It's great to have you. How you been, Carol? What have you got for us today? Uh, I'm doing great, Tom. And yeah, uh, you've had a lot of exciting things. Uh, uh, front page of a uh... What was it? The Daily Star or something like oh, that? Oh, yeah, that was it, yeah. I did a show with Matt Letizier about uh, two weeks ago today, actually. and then Oh, is it? it? Yeah, but you're right, no, but it did it. So it came out in the papers on Friday, about four days ago. So about a week or so later, it had gone viral. People had done It's interesting how they're able to, so on YouTube, well, I say YouTube, Twitter accounts can create a, a video it'll go viral and then we're just you know doing <laughs> doing our thing but uh, i think it had like 3.4 or something million views then the papers oh, picked really? it up did a piece on that but it's all coded it's all coded and then they there was a bit about purple alien i saw an, that that sh- night it went out on the show i i saw an alien ship go over my house um i did the numbers on that it was april 19th which is 117 numbers which is matt Letizia. I did loads of codes and tweets over the weekend. Yesterday in the Daily Star, inside the pages, they had Purple Rain, like the Prince song. They had a picture of Prince, but they spelt Purple Rains. Purple Rain, like like a, a reign of a king, 41 alien. They showed the purple alien. Purple's Trump, 41 is alien, which is king, which is good. Um, I did a great show with another footballer last night, Gus Poye, who's Uruguayan. And he's oh, yeah. totally open to the possibility of alien. <laughs> but the Prince code they did was Purple Rain, R-E-I-G-N. Comes to 141, Tom Bushnell, Quantum Leap. And then Purple Rain's how they spelt it with an S, is 160, which is Quantum Leap DNA. And so I was like, okay, I'll take that. That's good. That's good. Yeah. So, yeah. Good. It's always well, fun to make the papers. Why not? You know, so... Daily hey. Star spelled out as 17 in numbers, 109. Diana Spencer, 109. Witness, 109. Zapruder, 109. Trillion, so it's a large number. Numbers, 109. Yeah, so it's good. It's good. So you've got some, yeah. So very well observed, well, Carol. You've got some Yeah, no, I was, uh, right, yeah. I was, you know, these little things are more, they're very important to, for other people to see and say, hey, I'm not the only one, right? Here's a famous yeah. footballer. Or what was he? Football? Yeah. I'm Matt getting Letizia, yeah, he was a, so yeah. you you met Matt. You remember when yeah. we did the Mark Atwood event with Janine and yourself and others and um He's a lovely yeah, man. We, lovely. Yeah, he's brilliant. Yeah, Matt was there. And uh he's like our he's like our Saints. He used to play for Southampton. They called them the Saints. So him and Ricky Lambert both played for Southampton. They were both wore number seven, 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 seventy sevens. Christ, power, hurts, and they were nicknamed the Saints. And it's like Matt's out, one of our Saints, you know, doing the yeah. doing his best, you know. But but it's coming. It's I just got connected with through Matt with Joey Barton. He's a footballer. He's speaking out. Gus Poyer has been a friend for a long time, and I was amazed at how it was just beautiful the video with the show with uh, Gus from from Uruguay he talked about yeah the local farmers they've seen lights and ships and aliens and he's like I want to go to Antarctica I want to go past the wall and I want to you know uh, the world's waking up Carol it's a, it's a beautiful thing you know it's beautiful it's coming it's coming 2024 well- even that, you know, tinfoil hat on him, you know, that was incredible. Like I say, I think it just a lot of people could relate to it and they're not yeah. so scared to maybe speak out. That's the, yeah. the thing, or at least speak up a bit and you're, you know, you're not alienated. So, well, I yeah. did the numbers on tinfoil hat, which comes to 114, comes to frequency, comes to trump card, comes to history. If you change your frequency, you could change your history. A tin four hat is eleven five. Eleven five is intelligence. Um, eleven five is November fifth, the, the date of the election. I think you know it's more than an election. Yeah. This one, um, and I said it to Matt. I said it's like they've given you a crown. 
at one level, people might think, oh, it's mocking, but no, it's acknowledgement. That's why they did the purple alien bit. That's why I got the craft flying over the house. That's why it was done on his date. So it was it was uh, April 19th, comes to 170 uh, in numbers, which is Matt Batissier. Um, April's light, 56, healing, 56. Um, an alien is 56. And uh, 19th is 14, uh, 114, which is frequency, which is tinfoil hat. AJ Roberts, our friend, just did a great post. I just retweeted it. He talked about the, the codes of light coming through. That's what we're getting. We're getting downloads. I was like, that's exactly what it is. It's, it's all about that. And so, yeah, the, 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 the wagons are circling. The team's getting bigger. <laughs> it's getting stronger. It's brilliant, you know? So, yeah. Absolutely. And, and we're all part of it, right? And exactly. we all just bring our different gifts to the yes. table. And yeah, you said, what, 11 5? That's election day, but. What's that? Uh, remember, remember the fifth of November. I don't. I'm not it. sure. Yeah, yeah. there's something. Sorry. I don't know if that was in the the. <laughs> drop. It is. Well, it's, well, so so I or, believe. I believe because it says a week to. Re so if you do remember, remember that's one five eight in numbers. It's um, which is uh. Children of Israel, interesting enough, 158, remember, remember. But a week to remember is 159. Um, the Chinese elders, John F. Kennedy, JR. Um, but you've picked up, you've said it correctly. So here in England, and I guess parts of the world that we've been told to remember, remember the 5th of November. And it's like, okay, why is that? Well, we know the history of it, the gun and powder plot and Guy Fawkes, and all that stuff, and it didn't take place. And I was like, if they're going to pick a day, there's one day in history we've been told to remember. There's many important dates in, in the calendar yeah. of the year, but there's one that we've been told to remember. And the QPO say a week to remember. So I feel that it will start on November 5th. And then a week later, it comes to Remembrance Day, Veterans mm -hmm. Day in America, Armistice Day, 11-11. So that's actually a week's amount of time. Um So I feel probably that will be the week to remember. I, I personally feel, I think that's how... Things are just cut. The acceleration of the of the codes of the numbers of the light of the frequencies are, are just increasing now, and um, I honestly feel that's when it is. There's so many things that point to that. That's and I've been saying it for a while. I I I I, I just reconfirm that I think that's when it is. You know. Well, I think too. A lot more people are getting in touch with the uh, Mayan calendar, the thirteen moons and twenty eight days, and. It's just, and they're starting to synchronize and, and grounding and getting more in touch with nature. I mean, I see people walking barefoot all over the place. And yeah, yeah. people are really, uh, oh, either that or they're going crazy. That's what I, the two things I'm seeing. So uh, yeah, I mean, because the pressure is so strong. And yes. especially since the last, um, what was it? Uh, solstice. And, and uh yeah. The, uh, and we had the eclipse, didn't we, as well? Just at the, the eclipse, beginning yeah. No. And the energy seems different. There's just seems yeah. there's this plateau of energy that people are kind of sick and tired and tired of being sick and tired. Yes. And just it the whole movement seems to have flattened and gone different directions. And yeah, yeah a lot of uh yeah, I think there's a little bit of uh, disconnect and then also it'll reconnect again. Yeah. You know, just, uh, you know, there's less flushes, shows it flushes, and it flushes, yeah. you know, the, the, you know, the kind of merry go rounders as well. If they're not really on the bus, they'll kind of flush them off, which is good, yeah. you know? Yeah. Um, and then it makes room for new people. It makes room for new codes. Did you see the video with Pascal Najardi and Alex Jones? That's gone viral. Did you see that today? Yeah, I did. Yeah. So that really pointed out, um, well, I think it's reconfirmed. It showed who's who in that interview. <laughs> Just yeah. let people watch it. But it was like, it's interesting. It's like, why do people go to the point of attack if they don't understand something? They try to ridicule or just say someone's crazy. It's like, I've never said that about anyone on a, any of my shows. I, I welcome all yeah. thought and, and if I don't align, then we just say thanks and we just carry on our ways. 
but to kind of it's it, it just really showed it it was like why would you try and demean someone's information and make up that they're a loon like well, well he also really he also <laughs> you know checked into him and said yeah he, this is him and this is and we've heard him you know quite a while back already you know the the pascal yeah, um, I've had him on my show. You know, it's. Like, I thought so. I said, yeah, he's been you. on my show, and he's got, and he's got a powerful message. And it was like, but it was just so curious. It was like, why was Alex so kind of dismissive of him, and why is he trying to say this guy's a lunatic? It's like, mm, it just what from a from a just a neutral observer. It's like if you've got to pick a, and that's I guess that's yeah. what it's like. I'll try and pick a lane or pick a side. Sometimes you don't have to. But it was just, what's the intention of both of these guys? And it just, it, I thought it was just, a, I thought it was just a masterpiece of, of um, another, another, another rung on the ladder. It's like, oh, do you remember the Alex and the Pascal interview? What was the outcome of that? You know, and anyone really wanting to discern what what's going on. And uh, I mean, I've got in touch with Alex. It seems I've not, I've not heard back from him. You know, it'd be great to do a show with him. But it's like, why try and just ridicule someone that's offering a perspective you know it just yeah. showed who's who very very openly because that <laughs> yeah. but it's funny it was like, like he was, uh... put the video out pascal's probably got it in his back pocket at some level you know so <laughs> it was like we everything that we've been learning it was almost confirmed it was like i was laughing because yeah. it was coming out so strong and, and you know maybe alex jones is um highlighting it a bit too as a controversy yet at the same time we're all laughing yes i think it is right you know and you could be playing the devil's advocate too so yeah it was very confet it was very it was very uh it was more when he got off the show that was it he, blah, blah, when he got, that was it so i did i've not i've only seen like i saw the headline so i i went to kind of towards i just picked fairly towards the and i saw you know them about 10 minutes and then it was the blue bit afterwards, and that's the bit I'm yeah. on about. It's like that was that really told a big <laughs> piece of the puzzle, you know. It, it did. Yeah, it was like you, you know these things are said. <laughs> they're, they're said on shows. They're said in public. It's like oh okay, that, right. That's very enlightening. Yeah, because it could have been. Thank you very much. Wow, interesting information. Yeah. Now onto the soundbite. But it was just a, like you said, the, the few minutes afterwards wasn't necessary, although. It probably was necessary, if you know what I'm saying, you know. Yeah. So. Well, a lot of people might lift their eyebrows and say, hey, I've heard bits and pieces of this. Maybe it is true, you know, and this is coming from this character yeah. in the movie. And, and yeah, so it's, uh, who knows? And I, I did listen to the first part. It was but five o'clock this morning. It kind of yeah. came on. And so, I yeah, I, I need to listen to maybe it again to get a true perspective, but. Yeah. Yeah. The bit I saw was like, oh yeah, okay. Yeah, got it. I got the I got the message. I got the reason. And I got the after. I got the after show. Yeah. <laughs> Alex, you've yeah, been a very naughty see. boy. You've been a very naughty boy. Yeah. Come but on the show. Come lot. on, Alex. Let's uh, do it. Maybe he's probably not watching this, but I have I have been yeah. put in touch with him before. No, you know, it was just an echo. It was just an empty, it was just an empty uh, cyberspace, no reply. But who knows? Maybe it'll come around. But Maybe uh, he reads yeah. those uh, Daily Stars or something. The the, the Might do. tabloids and and wow, wow, okay, this guy's gotten a hold of me. So yeah, well, if he wants, to, if you want to do the papers, Alex, we're more than you're more than welcome to come on and do it, and and you'll see the power of you'll see the power of the newspapers. Yeah, you'll see the power of the awakening. You'll see what's going on. You know what? I, this is the thing because I all this other chitter chatter that goes on I'm like oh this all the all the kind of i call it the 3.5 stuff so it's like i kind of just find it boring because i'm just like i know that's not really it's just all kind of created and one thing that i really love that pascal said at the end is he said america's one of the safest places in the world that's not a message that they're being told right now on the tv yeah so that was really important for them to hear that because i've been saying i said we're all protected we are protected all the, all these things that are going on there's so many kind of just, you know, I don't want to say the word, but that it's not what we're being told. And I thought that was really elegant and powerful what Pascal said at the end, because America needs to hear that because they're probably fearing 
like all kinds of things, depending where they're at on the structure of, of understanding. But he just said, America's safe. It's one of the safest places in the world. And I was like, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, because they have the, what do you call it? <laughs> well, yeah, that, but, yeah. also, but also, but even, but that as well, though, what I'm saying is, the media is that the only reason people know about disharmony, unless it's on their doorstep or in their local community, yeah, is because of what the media, the third person in the room, is telling them. And the point I believe that, well, I've been making up phrases, but I and that's why I don't tune into it most of the time. That I think the point that uh, that uh, Pascal was making was the the third person in the room, the mainstream media, is not telling you the truth ninety nine point nine percent of the time. It's all, it's a, it's a production, yeah. you know, it's a production to reinforce narratives, to reinforce brainwave, you know, certain frequencies that everybody tunes into, and then it creates those realities. And he's, he's pointing out that, no, America is safe. It's one of the safest places. The world is a safe place, but we're being told, no, it's not. It's a production. There's a movie, yeah. you know. Well, as you say, you know, we, uh, I think I was looking up the word globe the other day and, and uh, when it was started, you know, they started using it was just after around World War One, And I think they are, we're programmed to think of it as a globe and where consciousness goes, energy flows. So it's actually, yeah. you know, we could be creating that, but within uh, a matrix of a globe maybe not physically we don't know i'm not going to say what you know what it is we don't really know but why did yeah. we start calling them the globalists i quit calling them the globalists or the elite ah, very good point yeah you know and so they and, started to use the word globe just after the war yeah mm -hmm. interesting that makes such a lot of sense wow yeah so we just quit using that word and then the consciousness can shift and yes. the more we can get away from that, you know, the globalists, the globalists, they want us to call them that because we're creating in our mind that it's a globe. And then we just yeah. go flat over and over and over again, recirculating instead of evolving. And with the Mayan calendar, we do evolve because of those cycles within cycles. And yes. that's the, the power of using different times or different uh, calendars you know, studying all the calendars, right? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I think I have a show coming up with Jason Q and Josh Reed. And Josh Reed knows a lot about the Mayan calendar for sure. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. And yeah. I touch on it more on the fairy tale and, you know, when we do our galactic signature, but that is part of it. That yeah. is uh, the depth of it. So, yeah, yeah which I'm going to show you today. So we better get moving here. We'll I got about that, yeah. 30. 32 slides for you it's so, interesting uh, as well about you uh, um yeah because i mean it, i don't know exactly what the earth is but if you just look at the window it look it does look flat i'm not saying it's a flat earth but it might be it could if you if you just did simple things it's like well it looks flat or maybe it's super huge much bigger than we think and therefore it looks perceptibly kind of flat because it's such a bigger curve. I don't know. I'm open to the possibility. One thing did happen, though, with Gus yesterday. He's from Uruguay. It's South America. It's the gateway to Antarctica. Just talking to him, and I've known him a long time, and I've interviewed him two years ago, and I wasn't sure, you know, how the conversation would go. I was like, he could either be just as he was before, maybe less or more so, and he was delightfully far more so and excited by UFOs, Antarctica, all of that stuff. It's like he knew something he couldn't say, but he was his face said everything. And it's almost like he was a portal that enhanced my understanding even last night after the show because I, I was like, hang on, yeah. I think next year we could easily be going on holidays beyond the ice wall. That's what I feel. I think, I think once the Great Awakening happens, it includes everything and we'll be discovering these new lands. President Trump said in 2020 or in 2021, during the pandemic, he said... In one of his speeches that he brilliantly does all the time, he just gives truth in plain sight. And he said, thousands and thousands of countries. And I was like, did anyone else hear just what he said? Thousands and thousands of countries. And I was like, okay, 
There's about 209 countries, I think, in the world now, give or take, I think yeah. it's about 209. You could maybe, what, make it into smaller states, maybe. You know, Italy used to be made up of loads of other regions, and they were, you know, maybe countries. Cornwall used to be a country here. But still, you're not in the region of thousands and thousands. I was like, he's talking about other places. And I was like, is he talking about other planets? And then it's like, it could be beyond that ice wall, you know? We've been told in Game of Thrones, Game of Thrones is 146, New Jerusalem 146, uh, Truth Social 146, The Universe 146. There's an ice wall, what's beyond it? I th and just talking, literally, just Gus was like a receiver of information. And he was, and he was receiving, but he was also transmitting at the same time. And I was like, the reality or the possibility of that seems so far more obvious to me now, even after that conversation with him. And it's like each day there's new bits of info, new new data, new light. And I wouldn't be surprised if we're going on vacations in new lands, literally new lands next year in 2025. I think we are the heart of the universe. And uh, yeah. we are the Garden of Eden. We're the crown and glory. And beating. Uh, yeah. And that's, I think we're realms within realms, you know, we, as we increase, we kind of might, they might not even see us anymore that we can live in this beautiful place in harmony with other people at other frequencies is that they, their frequencies drop and ours rise. I mean, it could yeah. be, who knows, we're in different dynasties, different realms. I'm going to call them realms versus a globe. And yeah. it depends what you, uh, Kingdoms, realms, dimensions, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, reigns. I, also, as well, when you just said that, I was talking to Joey Barton, the football I did the show with last week, and he was talking about this scenario of, of a, there was a time where people um, weren't fearful of things, and then they, and then the reality of those things, they weren't. I think it was apes and um, a certain land of man. It was different species, and they weren't fearful of it, so therefore it just disappeared. It, it vanished out of its reality. And you know, I've heard that story with with the the uh, the boats. They could they saw a kind of hollow in the water, but not the canoe because they didn't, or the boat. They didn't have a reference point for it. And before we go on to what you prepared, um, Carol, another thing's come to mind in regards to Alex. So Alex Jones, Alex, his his name equals forty two in numbers, Alex, and that comes to the word war. And what's his title of his show? Info Wars. Yeah. Oh, he's about yeah. war. Unfortunately, Alex is about war. He's about war, you know, war of the mind. It's in yeah. his, it's on the, it's on the, it's on the tin. It's on his show, and his name Alex is forty two, which comes to war. So, um, so well done, Pascal. Yeah, but Alex, <laughs> come you... on, let's. If you want to, you know, write to reply, bring it, bring it on. This is the time now. It's like we've just got to fucking run yeah. towards the gunfire. And I say it wrong. That sounds like a warfare. We've got to run towards the victory line. And everything else would just vanish, you know, into the ethereal. Well, we are charging forward, and that's why yeah. so much information is coming out. And and with that, you know, people fall away too. And yeah, so yeah. we have to find the beauty in everything instead of, you know, always the negative, And we can understand yeah. it and, and just stay as the observer centered within ourselves and keep working on ourselves. And, uh, you know, just keep going. That's all we keep got. Keep going. That's it. Be positive with it. Positive so, 115, 11, 5. That's the election. Yeah. Remember, yeah. remember. Remember, remember. <laughs> 11, it's here on the book. Yeah. Art of the deal is 115. Intelligence, positive, 11, 5. That's what it is. He said so, you know, so... Well, what do you have for us, Carol? Oh, That's well, good okay. Catch up. Yeah. So, yeah, I, mean, I think it was important to talk about Pascal and Alex mm. and uh, give people a different perspective because, you know, here again, might wake people up just even with Alex's comments after, right? It's okay. Yeah. Whatever yeah. works. Exactly. So Whatever I'm, works. Yeah. He's got his role. He's got his role, you know, so whatever whatever works is um, whatever works gets the job done. So, yeah. So I'm going to share my screen and we're just going to we're going to jump right into it. So we've got. Uh, I gotta bring it up. 
you see my messy desktop. It's Harry. There's yes. Melania. Oh no, this is Diana. 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 Yeah. Yeah, I know. I you know picked this uh, picture. I was purpose, teasing. So. I was yeah. many of the true word is said in jest. You know. How come I always forget how to get this? Oh, there we go. There, that's full screen. There she is. Yes. Nice. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, why I picked this picture is because uh, this, I'm not sure when this was. You probably know more than I do. But this is kind of what Melania wore also, uh, kind of when she, in honor of uh, uh, Lady Diana. Yeah. And uh, it does, yeah, I've picked a few different pictures, uh, you know, here. Because I'm going to, you know go on a little bit what i'm looking at is her nose here and the bridge of her nose how strong it is yeah. and that's coming from i'm doing face reading and many different things at all at the same time here but that yeah. tells me uh because she's a little bit in profile that she has a very strong uh sense of identity but she's come from a very mental uh family like bringing bringing up like uh the mental zone is very much connect like overrides the emotional zone so right. put your feelings behind sort of and education was probably very very important in her growing up years so and then i did a little bit on her name so diana is a latin name from uh the roman goddess associated with moon virginity and hunting she is the protector of wild animals represents Represented in the myth as both uh, beautiful and chast. And the name Diana is a girl's name and it means divine. Yeah. Her second name is Francis. Yes. And this means from France or free man. And then Spencer is a boy's name, uh, meaning house steward or dispenser of provisions. And then uh, Windsor is a riverbank uh, with a win winch. So, yeah, just we'd kind of do this just out of curiosity and put it together. Obviously, it's uh, th they have very long names. Dispenser provisions, Masara Dasara, 109. Yeah, Dinah Spencer, 109, 17, 109. And then Windsor, Windsor, Windsor is, is on the River Thames. River Thames is 138 revaluation. Donald Trump 138. Did she actually take the name Windsor? That I could, I never found I don't out. I don't think so. I mean, you never really yeah. hear it, but but technically, because she was old, you know. What's but it's his name? the House of Windsor, Why? right? Yeah, it's the House of Windsor, but I've never heard to, re I've never really, there might be documents that say it, but she was always still known as Princess Diana, Lady Diana, Lady Diana Francis Spencer. Very rarely do you. Here, Diana Windsor, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So here I have her. Um, let me move you. I think you're freezing too. Your mouth is not moving. <laughs> oh, okay. They can hear me. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. I just sh shrink down the. Um, go right off the camera. Stop video. Okay, so uh, yeah, this is that same outfit she's wearing here. And Melania, when she went to visit the Queen, uh, she wore very much in honor of Lady Di, somewhat similar clothing. And I think yeah. we did look at this a little bit on Melania's. So I just wanted to add it in here and yeah. how she's uh, uh, actually uh, holding her heart, like as if she, in honor of Lady Di. Lady yeah. Diana. Queen of Hearts, mm -hmm. 154, the second coming, 154. Who's second coming? I think quite a few. Just oh. an open there. Pretty yeah, this is her numbers when I yeah. added up her numbers. And okay. she was, uh, I didn't. 752. Yeah, she's a 257. It actually goes the other way because she was born okay. July 1st, 1961. So July being seven, 
uh, plus one, plus one, plus nine, plus six, plus one. And the reason I'm saying this is more for your your audience to do their own numbers. They can add up their own numbers. Mm -hmm. And so she's a two, five, seven. So a lot of people just use this last number in their uh, destiny numbers. But she's, uh, we use the two and five in the personality. So, because we're live in duality. So two is heart chakra and that's uh, cooperation and balance. And then five freedom through discipline is the sacral chakra. And that's more of a, and I use freedom through discipline, but it's uh, it's a discipline meaning following your the disciple within yourself and the disciple is about following your soul's path and then you find freedom and mm. then her destiny number is seven which is solar plex trust and openness mm. and um so those on a 257 life path are here to work through issues of privacy openness and independence finally coming to trust the spiritual force is operated through themselves others and the world and to uh, experience inner freedom through a focused discipline so she and she did very much issues of privacy and openness like to be out there in public but still find her yeah. own privacy yes diana and france thanks through numbers is consciousness 175 and uh lady diana Frances spencer's 217 which comes to mission impossible which comes to romanoff uh, redemption comes to oh, yeah. um, Nikola Tesla mission comes to my name Tom Sidney Bushnell um, and it also comes to uh, the Princess of Wales 217 Lady Diana Frances Spencer 217 fancy that hey Mission Impossible 217 Mission Impossible Mars is 261 which comes to August 31st which is the date that she passed over went into witness protection yeah um, yeah, so very good. Nine, what, that was in 98, 98? Uh, 97, 1997, yeah, which is 238, which is the Tom Number Show, 238. Um, was it you that someone had told you about her being on the cover of Time magazine? That was it, yes, yeah, that was um, Sheila Holmes. She mentioned that. She said it happened on a 9-8. I'm not sure what year, but 9-8, 9 plus 8 is 17 Q. Diana's burial plot on Althorp is like a circle with a little path and island. That uh, was nine, 1997 that happened because right around when the Queen died, she died on the 9-8. I actually ordered that cover of that magazine and sent it to Jason Q. And okay. it was on 9-8-1997. Uh, that was when she was, that was like a week after she passed. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I saw that on that show with Sheila. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh... So that was it. So she could, the funeral, I think it was on the 3rd of September. No, 6th of September, I believe. So, yeah, a couple of days later, they'll probably put that out. Um, and even if you do this, if you do, so witness protection is 244, which is, um, Francis, uh, sorry, Frederick Christ Trump, that's Donald Trump's father's full name, witness protection 244. It's funny that he's got a Christ in his name. Um, and uh, if you do witness protection, if you do Q witness protection, that comes to 261, uh, which comes to August 31st for when Diana passed over. You've got JFK, November 22nd, 261. So witness protection, Q witness protection is 261. Um, and interestingly enough, Donald's father, Fred, Frederick Christ Trump comes to 244. There's a lot of there's a, there's a lot of things going on that have been going on, and we're gonna find out down the further down the line, you know, not too exactly. far down the line, I don't think. Yeah. So here, what I did, it was very hard for me to find a picture that she's, you know, face on. So I could yeah. do a face to it, but it was pretty good. But her, obviously, her, her neck is turned a bit. So it's going to show a lot more in the neck. 
Yeah. But she's fairly balanced. What I'm seeing is she does hold her. This is the soul side. You can see my cursor, my arrow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is her feminine side and her soul side. It's her inner world. And this is who she is in her outer world. So I think there's a lot of holding back of emotions. Okay. For her. And uh, other than that, I mean, she's got a gorgeous face. She's got a little bit more. Uh, it's, it's, I've got to point this out to you, Carol. It's, two four, it's 2046 here, 246. And 246 comes to um, uh, Diana, the Princess of Wales, 246. Yes, the 5th of November, 246. Um, oh, wow. Yes, Diana um, Spencer Trump, 246. In the twinkling of in the twinkling of an eye, two forty six, and also calling an election made sure two forty six, and that's the date of the election, November fifth. Anyway, it came up on the time, so I thought I'd just interject and share that with you. But please Perfect. continue, yeah. Well, also what I'm seeing, I mean, she's got sapphire blue eyes, right? And sapphire yeah. blue, and of course, the earrings are going to bring it out even more. But she, uh, blue eyes, depending on uh, the depth of the blue or the shade of the blue, yeah. it, she's got a, a, um, a very compassionate way of thinking because mm -hmm. like the blue sky, uh, mm -hmm. it's, uh, you know, the cool, if, it's, if she was more uh, icy blue, it would be more uh, cool and calculating. Yeah. And that also can change with someone's mood, especially in blue eyes. So, uh, yeah, and she's got a really strong arched eyebrow on the left where it's more rounded on the uh, right side. So, um, yeah, lots of holding back on her soul side and, and living that kind of life. You put on yeah. a good face uh, for the outer world, but what's happening in her inner world, I think she was very lonely and, yeah, uh, yeah and isolated. Emotion is 91 Space Force Liberty Future. Emotions with plural is 110, which is President, the Christ, Tesseract. But if you do the emotions, 143, November 5th, Melania Trump, 143. The emotions, the emotions, 143. That's interesting. Here I see, like, I'm what we do in face reading is overall face. Uh, shape prominent feature her prominent feature definitely would be her uh, her eyes because yeah. of the depth of the sapphire blue but also she had a real twinkle in her eye and that would yeah. come out when she was out in public especially when she saw children or things that really livened her up in yeah. the outer world and uh, she's got a straight up and down forehead. We can tell that. And the straight up and down forehead tells me she's got a very high imagination. And huh. uh, she's got that strong bridge nose. And uh, so she did, was very, um, uh, she knew who she was in her personality. And yeah. it was very strong. And another thing, key thing to look at, her earlobes are attached. They're not hanging loose. So it tells me uh, in well, her... My, my mum's earlobes are like that. Yeah, In the DNA, there you're not going to hang your emotional uh, dirty laundry out on your uh, clothesline. It's very contained. We don't share those parts. So you grow mm. up, oh, you, you know, it's in the DNA even because that's a characteristic that you pick up. So, mm. uh, or can pick up, depends. So they're not going to, you know talk about uh things outside of the household or yeah. you can't talk about those things right well, that's a very, get... she'd have been trained in that for sure even if it wasn't yeah. probably a natural tendency but definitely in, you know the way she was brought up with that would be yeah the hush of the aristocrat the aristocracy of the of the uk for sure yeah, here you can see it again, the earlobes. Yeah. Uh, she does have an oval face, which is the divine feminine. So yeah. th she cares about other people's points of view, but the way she interacts with other people, she's going to do it with a lot of sensitivity. And yeah. she does have a lot of hair coming in, the baby hair coming in on the side, which I tell people to wax out. Remember, I waxed Mark 
on stage in Manchester. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And uh, so we get rid of that so that we have more, a clearer point of view. So, uh, yeah. And here again, we can see that straight up and down forehead. And she's got a strong nose. And the nose is your solar plexus. It's our personality. It's the first thing that goes out into the world. So the nose knows. And it's a little nosy. But yeah. at the same time, what I really want to look at is how insecure she is in the heart chakra, how she pulls her shoulders, shoulders in, in yeah. and uh, it's to protect the heart. And it I might know even else like that does that a lot. Yeah. The, the what? I know someone else that does that a lot. Yeah. 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 And yeah, it's like it's kind of maybe not knowing what love feels like. Yeah. So maybe her mother wasn't loving herself and we grow up in that environment. Doesn't mean the mother doesn't love you. It just means she's not breathing and, and filling up the whole heart chakra. And then the child can't feel what love feels like. They can say it, but they can't feel it. So yeah. the insecurities will come in uh, more in how she shares her heart. Yeah. And that's that famous, to me, she, in a lot of her photographs, she's looking coy. So that's a coy look. And it's a very sad coy look. And that's that famous one uh, when she did the interview with BBC. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Big eyes, right? That's mm. a definitely prominent feature. A little yeah. bit of a stiff upper lip also. You know, she's the upper lip is not uh letting it all out and uh here i was looking at more of her like hands Dando, isn't that? the what there's a woman jill dando that was a tv presenter that probably is in witness protection i would think but the story is that she you know was died on her doorstep and that story's come to surface again now just today in the uk of saying they find out through facial recognition who the person was that did it, but just that smile there was very kind of Jill Dando-ish. If you look it up, it's on the obviously on the internet, but the UK audience will know who I'm talking about. Yeah. Um, but yeah, very because she's got that distinct smile as well, hasn't she? Yeah. Yeah. So what I'm looking at here is her hand, and this is her her uh, right hand. So uh, mm -hmm. it's very uh, intuitive because her palm is very long. Uh, even though she does have long fingers. But what I'm looking at is this uh, arch in the judgment finger. This is what we call Jupiter finger. And the top uh -huh. digit here is... Um, did you just say Jupiter judgment? You did. Jupiter yeah. 99 in numbers, and so is judgment 99 in numbers. And you just said those just, <laughs> just next to each other. So, yeah. yeah. So this top digit is pride. So this is pride, and the middle digit is dignity. And this lower one is wisdom. So sometimes I think uh, she kind of leaves, because the top one is the crown, right? The crown chakra of the hand. And right. so she just, she leaves her, she would leave her body a lot. And I'm out of here. Like she would disconnect. And right. if you look, a lot of the uh, energy is in the, the throat and the brow. And then it went very thin on most of her fingers on the uh, crown chakra of the hand. Okay. So uh, those are yeah, tiny things. It was hard to find pictures of her hands. This was another one. Um, they're really shiny here. But here again, she would separate a lot of her thoughts because all the fingers are mental energy. So she would pull away a lot. And there was a lot of inner self-judgment, just the way this finger curls inward and that's into her inner world in in language of the hands so right. uh here the she's more practical on her uh right hand they're quite different each hand and this is more intuitive because the palm is longer here it's more square-ish right and these are obviously uh what you, watermarked <laughs> that's where i can yeah. find some photos Language so is this, 68, Baron 68. Interesting. Those are the feet. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So what's sticking out here again, 
this top crown, she leaves her body again. It lifts off. She says, I'm out of here when it comes to her thinking. Because the, the big toe is mental. The second toe is feeling or relationship toe. They're fairly even, but her doing toe tucks underneath her relationship. So maybe not feeling that uh, what she's doing doesn't mm -hmm. always feel good. So, you know, I'll do it anyways. She'll hide behind that. And then uh, what uh, the big thing I'm looking at is her little toe. And the little toe is our social toe. So growing up probably didn't feel secure in her outer world. And a lot of people have that where the little toe is quite a bit shorter, but hers is a lot shorter than, than uh, this is the communication toe. Well, if the little toe kind of turns in with like, so it's almost flat with like a 90 degree angle to. Yeah, it hides little... behind. It's, it's really insecure. So it'll tuck right. underneath the uh, communication toe, which is this. Well, not even tucked in, but just just roll over, so it doesn't tuck in. It's separate, but it just rolls of it just over. Being, yeah, it just rolls, rolls over ninety degree, or forty five degree, or ninety degree. Well, it would be like just roll over and play dead, right? Okay. Yeah. So hiding, you know, like it's it's not feeling secure, not reaching out. So little toes are social. Yeah, we, we say, you know, this little piggy went to market, this little piggy stayed home, this little piggy had none, and this little piggy had roast beef, and this had one, roast yeah. beef little pig. This one didn't have any, and this one went wee, 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 all the way home. home. Mm. Yeah, ran home. So insecure, yeah. insecurities. So here is that same dress she's wearing. So this must be out and about, I'm not sure. But what I'm pulling up here is more um, hairy and how the bridge of his nose is so much different than uh, even William or Lady Diana. Yeah. And uh, because we're gonna do a little bit of a reading on him. And uh, so, and in the last See, there, thing, that's what I was going to say. In that's in um, High Park, High Park in London, London seventy four, Jamatra seventy four, DeLorean seventy four, Messiah, Muhammad, Jesus, they're all seventy four, Tarot seventy four. But that this, it's, this is her... this. And live, it's like a queue with a line through it. But that's there's actually an ISIS bird. There, ISIS is people rip into ISIS. Maybe you know historically, but. Isis is also 56 light, and there's a picture of an Isis bird at the bottom of that. But Hyde Park, where that is, I've been to that place a number of times. Hyde so Park, this is her, the uh, trunk. This is her memorial, isn't it? Like where her, it. It's, uh, the water, it's the water feature in Hyde Park. Hyde Park's okay. 88 trunk. It's just the stone well, half a mile or so from Kensington Gardens, which is where she lived. But Hyde Park, Kensington Gardens, they they they. they they're the same place they, they touch each other you know they're divided by a road um a path but that's it yeah so that's you know you can even see that that's a, that's a type of cue as well so it's an ellipse yeah the and the same as uh same as well the cue is at the bottom here like the tail but yeah. same as uh jfk this is a yeah. cue also well that one's super I, obvious that's a proper cue but that's yeah. a cue and, and her name spells cue so if you do diana spencer it comes to 109 in numbers and you spell the word 17, Q is the 17th letter, but 17, you spell that full word, it comes to 109, again, which is Diana Spencer, 109, 17, 109, witness, 109, what did she witness, who did she witness against, 109 is also Sight Club, my channel, which I chose prior to 2020 before this kicked off, so I was guided to pick that name, that's why I always keep it, but that's it, yeah, that's, I was going to mention that earlier, that's, that's the, that's the one in Hyde Park. And Hyde Park is 88 Trump, you know. Well, it's... I think uh, she got her queen, Q queen. <laughs> yeah, Q queen, of course, yeah, Q queen. The queen is 95. 95 is Tuesday. Tuesday is going to be the day that the election is taking place, um, the 310th day of the year, you know, and... Uh, She's the Queen of England. She's coming back. You know, people believe in fairy tales. She'll, she'll be the Queen of England. Yeah, exactly. And the world. Yeah. So this here I'm looking at the Mayan calendar, and this is your tones that are all around this way, and then your these are all the seals on the outside. 
I don't know why I threw this in here, but probably out of order. But uh, what uh, she is a blue storm. So her seal would be, these are pretty hard to tell, but it's this one here. Blue Storm is Skywalker 125. Time Travel 125, John Kennedy. Yeah. 125, Dark to Light 125. Blue Storm, Storm's 85, Awakening Matrix, and Blue's 40, so you add them together. That's 125. Mm. So this blue is her blue. galactic signature, and the blue storm is the middle one, and that's her uh, third dimension. But her first dimension is the white wind, which is the high priestess. And her second one is the yellow sun, and that's the enlightened one. So she's walked this path many, many times. It was just about remembering it, that mm. she was already enlightened. And... Um, the blue storm is the world changer. That's who she was is now or who she was becoming. And then the fourth dimensional self, this is what she desired to learn in this lifetime, which is the red moon. And that's the healer. So we can heal in many different ways. It doesn't mean you're a therapist or anything. Uh, healing consciousness, definitely. And, uh, and then the, higher self or fifth dimensional self is the blue eagle which is the seer or the visionary so seeing things uh -huh. from a bigger picture blue so the storm in 190 which is um parliament square parliament is 109 um parliament is 109 diana spencer 109 17 109 but parliament square that's all to do with Guy Fawkes, because if you do Westminster, which is 165 Resurrection, Parliament Square, 190, and together 355, remember, remember the 5th of November, you've got a Q bus stop on Parliament Square, which is 50 yards away from Westminster Abbey Road. That's the place that she supposedly had a burial service, and it happened at 9.08 in the morning. 9 plus 8 is 17. Q, oh, yeah. 9.8 is Romanoff. This all goes back to them, to Tartaria and Romanoff. This is what this is. This is a whole reversal of what they feel happened then and they bring the world yeah. into life at the same time. And Melania being, you know, so-called a Romanoff. We'll, exactly. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, we will. Well, even if you spell Romanoff with the O, the O V, that's 98. Independence, 98. Mission, 98. Profit, 98. Um. But if you spell it with O F F, it takes it to eighty eight, which is Trump, which is Tartaria, eighty eight miles per hour time travel, um, blue storm one twenty five time travel. You know, it's all it, all of this has been in place for a long, long time, but we just didn't know until it was time to, you know, we got the tap on the shoulder like it's game time. Yeah. Name Henry. See, Henry is is. 70 in numbers which is secret and harry is also um 70 in numbers jimmy is 70 in numbers but it's uh yeah henry and harry same names but they're both 70 so it's like there's henry henry harry there's a secret even old harry rocks near where i reside is uh is 16724 yeah well his, uh, harry's Ooh. name is it's Henry Charles Albert David Windsor. Like, mm. that's a lot of karma to carry with a name, you know? Like, really, a person should only have one name. So, it's uh, Harry is uh, a state ruler. Charles is man or free man. Albert is noble, bright, beloved. And then riverbank with the with the wind so you know and these are things we play with and um you've gone a little bit muffled um carol yeah you know why there you go as soon as better. i as soon as i said blue storm i got we a storm broke out okay we can hear you clearly here. now i can hear you again yeah now. i'm holding yeah. my mic up a bit that's good i can hear you now yeah 
So this is Harry where I've taken his face in the middle and Plums. cut it in half and then Plums. put two left sides together and two right sides together. So here again, it was really hard to find a, a picture of him right straight on so I could split it. Yeah. So to me, I think his nose must have gotten broken or something. Do you know? I don't know, but I, he plays rugby, doesn't he? He's been in the military, yeah. probably. Yeah, yeah, polo, maybe. I think he, yeah. he got his nose broken. And yeah. he also has a straight up and down forehead. Um, and his hairline is what we call an M-shaped hairline. So there's a lot of internal arguments going on. And here on his uh, soul side, his creative side, it keeps it's even stronger than on this side. So he has a lot of hair that comes in on the side. And what I do is, if that was waxed out, some of the self-doubt, because the creative mind says, let's go do this, this, and this, and the analytical, no, but remember, it's supposed to be done this way. And um, this is key for him. And if he would wax out the sides, then often the hair will start to uh, grow back in. So it's not receding as strong. So he does have very uh, close together eyes, almost a little bit beady, and that's uh, usually not trusting in himself, so he can't trust other people. And oh. yeah, I'm pretty sure I read he had his nose broken in rugby or soccer. You guys call yeah. it different than we do. And his ears stick out a bit, so it's a little bit of trauma in childhood. And it's above the eyebrows, if we draw a line across, he listens to his mind more than he does uh, his his heart. So, and I believe his earlobes are attached also. Oh, that's better. The rain is stopping now. <laughs> it was really pouring. So here again, very tight-lipped and probably couldn't speak what he was really uh, feeling. Maintain and, a straight uh, upper lip always. Yeah. Well, that's Blue, very British, too. You, yeah. know, you can't talk about sexuality or anything, right? Uh, oh, no, yeah. you can't talk about that. No sex with so, British. Yeah. Yeah. So his numbers is 358. So throat, so, uh, sacral chakra, and 8 is solar plex and base, which is abundance and power. And some of the stuff he's going through, maybe have would have, is going through, those in a 358 life path are here to work through issues of emotional honesty, independence, and power, manifesting abundance, authority, and freedom achieved through discipline and depth of experience. So that's maybe why he left uh, the royal family, wanted mm -hmm. his own experience, be independent of that, and question the authority around it. And it gave him more depth of experience by not, you know, just staying in the norm like they do, right? Mm. What does it say? Guidelines and recommendation. Combine your brilliance with hard work to find success. Own your power and remember your heart. Visualize and then put into practice the good you would like to do for others and then find focus um, keep it practical and grounded. So these are for all people. It's, it's not neck. It's just, it is his numbers, his destiny numbers. Whoops. And then his galactic signature is a, uh, a white, white self existing dog. Dog, yeah. What a mouthful. Pull it, yeah. My uh, PowerPoint is covering that up. So. Uh, yeah, so uh, dog is the compassionate one. Yeah. And so, yeah, he's got the uh, base chakra here. This It's in his DNA is the blue monkey, which is the magician, energy of the magician archetype. His second dimensional self is the red moon. And this, he's walked this path many times, which is the healer. Yeah. And then white dog is who he is now or becoming. And that's the compassionate one. If he can play that role. And then his what he wants to achieve in this lifetime or what's in his heart. 
desire to achieve is the yellow sun and that's the enlightened one and then he's got the hair in it on his higher self or fifth dimension which is the uh white world bridger which is the hair in it or the in tarot it's the high priest so he does have some of that energy too so yeah it's uh very interesting to kind of see them play it out mm. So here I did a side view. Here again, you can see a lot of hair. Someone's told them who and what and how to think. And if you would take that from the sideburn line and wax that out, he would have a lot more, uh, his face would be a lot more uh, symmetrical. But here it's in his bridge of his nose that we're seeing is like part of him just wants to say, whoopee, I want to have fun. Yeah. And uh, he stays tight lipped and pulls back even in his chin a bit. So he doesn't have so much of a stick your neck out attitude. He kind of pulls back. If I step out, I might fall on my face. So here you can see his ears sticking out again and a little bit uh, attached here and the straight up and down forehead. Mm -hmm. But this is what we almost call a ski jump nose. So you want to just snub your nose at everything else. Right. It doesn't have that strong bridge. And then who's this? Almost the same type of nose. A little bit more um, straightforward here. And this is who? James? Hewitt. Yeah, mm -hmm. Hewitt. And so I kind of added them in here because of all the controversy. And I think there was an affair between 80 and 85. And uh, Harry was born in 1984. So who knows? This guy has really strong ears. I, I You don't see it so much in this picture, but... Uh, oh. I think we'll be bringing him in again at a later time so this is his numbers this is uh yeah this is hewitt's number what did you say his name is i had to ask some a british james, person who's this james uh, hewitt yeah yeah james hewitt he's yeah. a 303 so oh, that number again. yeah that's uh three zero is expression expression and sensitive uh sensitivity with inner gifts so that's your uh zero and then three is expression and sensitivity again because he's got it times two so mm. those on a three zero path life path are here to work through issues of expression and sensitivity overcoming self-doubt to express themselves and use their inner gifts to encourage uplift and inspire others Anyone else you know? That has 303? Yeah. You said I do. Yes, you do. <laughs> at, that, at that same level here, like with the different, you know, the different levels of self, am I on this, is it the same exact one or is mine at a different level or is it a different level? Well, you have a different galactic signature, but he's, uh, 303 is, yeah, you have the same Okay. So, uh, treat, so yeah, treat self doubt as a hurdle to overcome, not a sign. Give yourself emo, give yourself emotionally, even if you don't always feel. You get back in equal measure. Allow and express your feelings in the moment, and trust and use your refined intuition and special resources. Mm. So the brilliant adding machine you are. <laughs> there we so go. It, yeah. So this is his galactic signature, and he is a uh, white solar wind. And he's got the world, the storm, the blue storm in the first dimension, which is the world changer. His second dimension is the navigator. So uh, that's the red earth is the navigator. And then his thir third dimension is the white wind, which is the high priestess. So he has a lot of um, sort of, I'm not going to 
feminine qualities put put it that way but it's more about community kindness uh yeah just compassion is that what the what the high priestess would be and then his he's a yellow human which is the sage so that's the wise one what he wants to achieve in this lifetime and then his higher self is the white mirror so uh the yogi or the yogini but he's also a mirror for others hmm. so it's very you know it really means something to themselves so here he's again i can see that bridge of the nose and uh his inner cup really is much stronger than his outer cup and it tells me he's a very clara audio and look at this he's wearing the number three and he's a three zero three yeah so <laughs> very interesting and uh is this the start of their affair or what was it i don't, I don't know, know but it could be yeah blue blended with red purple 88 you are 33 there the and Di thing. diana is awarding him the cup and that's for polo mm. right or something Looks like it, yeah I'm done. yeah that polo yeah jack kid sport she's quite yeah. young there yeah this is his face split here that's where i see his ears and he almost prominent his ears so it's uh it's completely in the emotional zone because we look at the bottom of the <clears throat> nostrils and draw a line across this is the physical zone and this is his emotional zone which is the smallest on his face but he's got a very high intellect and broad-minded forehead. So here again, uh, what he puts on in the outer world is very tough and square, but there's a little boy inside. And you can see that in the face split here. Mm. Very, very, like he's almost got elf ears, right? Interesting. And it's yeah. pointing up. Again. So what tells me he's very loyal and very honest by nature because he's got a bulbous end of the nose and he's he's also very intuitive just by the bow of the lip. The upper lip, uh, if there's a strong bow, it tells me they're highly intuitive and uh, compassionate by nature because the upper lip is the feminine side. The lower lip is more the masculine that you can, you know, give pr plenty of lip. Uh, but yeah. it's coming from talking from the mind, not what's in the heart. Right. We're reading lips. So, so much to see. And that's kind of yeah. the two of them together. He's got a beautiful twinkle, though. And he's got brown eyes. And his warm brown eyes tells me he's got a compassionate way of feeling. Brown is more feelings, where blue is more thinking. And, yeah. Uh, Harry's got quite bluish eyes and I think might even turn a little bit to green. Just depends. You know, he doesn't have necessarily have his mother's eyes. But here again, look yeah. how small his ears are and they stick out. So sticking ears out tells me they might have had a, um, tra a traumatic childhood. You know, as I'm looking at, if you go back to that picture, yeah. Carol, yeah. so as I'm looking at this, I know... People have always said, oh, he's the dad. I don't even know if he is, actually. I don't know. Something's telling me maybe not. I don't know who the dad would be, but I'm looking at this and I'm like, I don't know. I'd be interested to see what people think in the comments about it. Like, is he actually the dad? Yeah. I don't know if he is. I don't know if he is. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to tell. I mean, just because he's ginger, like he's redheaded. And, but the the uh... redhead in this, you know. And even yeah, when you that's... said about the nose, so when you did the parallel, you know, the nose, his nose was um, maybe because Harry's had his nose bashed in sport, you know, but even when he was a little kid, he, he still had a ski jump nose. Diana's yeah. clearly not got that as a, as a woman. Maybe she did it as a, as, as, as a child because, you know, people's growing to their faces, but his isn't a ski jump nose either. So I don't know, not sure about this. I don't know whether he's actually the, that or not, I mean, it's it's a complicated game that we've been playing for a while, so yeah. we'll know in time, but it's just something that is interesting as we're going through it. I'm just wondering whether he is actually the dad. I don't know if he is. 
Yeah, I mean, obviously, it's pretty flat here because usually you can tell with mannerisms too, like mm. body mannerisms, and, and could be, you know. What do you think? Similar, uh, just, but... just your, what do you, what's your gut feel? Do you think he is the dad? I'm not gonna. That'd be like predicting dates. I think. <laughs> Well, no, but gee, it doesn't matter. Yeah. It doesn't matter. If we're wrong. We're just trying to get through this. I don't know. But yeah, it's feel? it's. Uh... You must feel somewhere that you put him out there, and that's that's the kind of secret. You know, Harry secret, seventy secret, Henry secret, seventy. It's like I'd have to do the numbers on it, cue it, and see what it is. But I just I don't know. I'm just wondering, wondering if he is actually the dad. I don't know if he is. Yeah, very different eyebrows. Um, yeah, I mean, the only trait I see really in the two the of red, them is the red, uh, the red hair. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. But other than that, I mean, even face shape is, uh, you know, quite different. And mm. so, yeah. And, you know, I don't follow the royal family. So, I mean, I don't see their mannerisms. I just, yeah. uh, to me, they're just two faces. And yeah. People can Unless he's them. the real dad of the Harry that was young, that was swapped when Diana got, you know, back in 1997, because it makes sense that probably the young Harry, young William probably went with Diana, and then somehow they produced the ones that we've got now. Um, oh, so I, maybe, I never maybe, thought of that. Maybe it is the, this one that we're looking at now as the adult, it's not the actual offspring of, of Hewitt, but maybe the original um may well be i don't know i guess we'll, we'll find out in time yeah that might be what it is yeah mm. so i the the other pictures i just threw on at the end was biden's not biden we all know this one yeah. and uh you know earlobes yeah and even if he was aged and these are just some stuff i threw on at the end this is people that have done my courses they, oh, okay. uh, yeah, this yeah. is the when they came into the course, we do the same thing, split the face. And this is when she finished the course, how much of a change. This yeah. one, the big sumo wrestler became this one. Okay. And uh, this feminine side became this one. So it's kind of uh, more of a, you know, here's what piercing does. The nose gets wider on the side that's pierced because okay. where consciousness goes, energy flows. And yeah. then those get smaller on the other side. So but these are more left. for interest sake for people that want to understand what face reading is about or yeah. yeah. There's descent. So this is the only one I could find. I sometimes I just do it for fun, just pull up a picture and see if I can split it and see what they look like. So Avengers character. And yeah. There you and go. then my there free ebook. Yeah. yeah, if anyone wants it, sign up and there's a little mini course to it, things you can change in your life. And cool. uh, yeah, I'm going to stop. Well, sharing. thanks, Carol. That was a lot I'm of fun as always. Up. It was good to do the news and to do look at the readings. So um, brilliant. All righty. So well, the links where are will be you? so people can find you. I'm here. So oh, uh, I can't see you. <laughs> I'm here. Brilliant. Thanks, Carol. No doubt. Yes, I'll see you and, again soon. Uh, yeah, maybe we can do Michael Jackson or something. I'll see. I'll let you know when I got another profile yeah. done and, and okay. see where That'll we go with fun. it. We'll do MJ. Yeah, we'll do MJ. Carol's links are below. Okay. And uh, as always, get your shun guide. That will be below as well. So <laughs> you can't okay. say I'm not moving. I'm a fixed. Uh, yeah. Anyway. All You're right. You're blacked out. You're blacked out. <laughs> oh, no. Here we go. Blackout okay. necessary. Thanks, Carol. God bless. Okay. Speak to me. Take care. Bye.